Good morning, it's Allison, the Holistic Homesteader, and here is my grocery haul. On my way from getting groceries. So beautiful. Hi, cats. Hi, buddy. There's Bear and Ruger. Hi, what are you doing? And it is winter. We got groceries. I'm gonna unload these and I'm gonna show you what I got. Good morning, it's Allison, the Holistic Homesteader. And here is my grocery haul. All of that was right around $215. And I'm gonna be showing you what I got. So I live in the middle of nowhere. I know I've said that a few other times, but it's true. And the closest grocery store that I prefer to use is 35, 40 minutes away. So when I, go, when I go, I make sure to really meal plan ahead and make sure I get all of the ingredients that I'm gonna need because I personally don't wanna go back to town. I only like to go to town like once every two weeks. Once every two weeks. Aside from that, I don't wanna be anywhere near town unless it's somebody taking me out to eat. <laughs> Only because then I don't have to cook it myself. Anyway, so today I went to town, I got groceries, and I like to go to Walmart is my main go-to because one price, duh, two options. And then my second choice is a place called Martin's, which is kind of like a giant. And I like that grocery store because it has a lot of options in terms of fruits and veggies <clears throat> and organic options too that usually Walmart doesn't have, sorry. <coughs> anyway, <sighs> here we are. I just unloaded all of this and I've laid it out to show you and um, let's just get to it. <laughs> all right, so where should we start? You can see it's a lot of fresh stuff, a lot of fresh fruits and veggies, a little bit of protein, a little bit of junk food. <laughs> so just start over here. Later in the week, I plan to make a scallop scampi. So I have a one pound package of bay scallops. I'm gonna make probably some chicken fajitas one night. And I picked up some chicken breast from Martin's. I normally don't do this. I normally get all of my meat from our freezer <laughs> because I think I've talked before about how we raise our own meat chickens. So normally I don't buy chicken from Martin's or from Walmart or from any grocery store, but this is an exception. I tried to get the organic from Nature's Promise, but this is what they had on hand. So I have two packs of chicken breast here, three breasts in each pack. I'm gonna turn that into some chicken fajitas. And then I have uh, two dozen eggs. Again, all nature's promise. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat today. I also got some Chobani Greek yogurt. I have the strawberry banana flavor and the blueberry flavor. Oops. These are 5.3 ounce fruit on the bottom. I got these for my husband. I figured they'd be a good little snack for him, something a little bit healthier, but I know what's gonna happen. My dying old kids are gonna end up finding those and eating them. <laughs> All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me, there's that frog again. Let's move on to the fruit. We'll go with the frozen fruit. We love fruit smoothies, love, love, love fruit smoothies. So I always have fruit in the freezer as well as fresh fruit just on the counter. This is a three pound bag of Wyman strawberries. I got two of those. I love Wyman's brand. We love the wild blueberries. Love those. They also make mixed fruit bags. They are a staple. I have to have that in my freezer at all time. Up here, we have the junk selection. <laughs> this is just, we're gonna have a major storm coming through. I think like six to 10 inches is what we're predicted. So need to have some junk food to hold us over. All right, so up here is the junk selection. We have big storm rolling through, six to 10 inches. Daughter requested some powdered donuts. <laughs> See, I might be the holistic homesteader, but we still eat 
and have fun and enjoy life. It's not all fruits and veggies all the time. So we have some Doritos. I have two bags of party sized Doritos. 14 and a half ounce. Probably gonna make some taco salad with that. We have Lay's chips. There were supposed to be two of these small bags, but they didn't have two small ones, so they gave me the big one for the same price as the small one. That is a win. We love these rice cakes from Quaker. This is the Buttermilk Ranch. These are so good. 6.5. 06 ounce. We have the buttermilk ranch flavor, the cheddar flavor, and then we have smaller bags of the caramel just because that's what they have. These are 3.52 ounce. We love every single flavor of those. They also make um, apple cinnamon flavor. Also amazing. Just a nice little crunchy snack. That's not totally crappy for you. Still not great, but it's definitely not crappy either. And up here, like I said, we picked, we picked up some powdered donut holes from the bakery for my daughter. She is a donut lover. Back here, <clears throat> this is like my husband's section for in his rig. He, we own our own trucking company and we have our own tractor trailer. So this stuff is for in his rig, essentially. We have Tums Smoothies Berry Fusion. This is a 60 count. We have two bottles. Oh, oh see, that's real life right there. <laughs> I had all of those stacked on the corner and I was leaning and there they go. But hey, while we're on it, let's just talk about the fact that they give us paper bags. How about it? I love that. Okay, so back to the Windex. 23 fluid ounce original Windex. I have two of those. I have two of these 91% isopropyl alcohol, 32 fluid ounce. Again, this stuff's for my husband. Um, he has big plans for that alcohol. I'm not exactly sure with what he's doing, but this is just to clean his windshield, and that's just for, you know, tummy trouble. So we are moving on to Another husband request some Ocean Spray Cran Grape 3 liter jugs. We have two of those. And up here I got some pineapple chunks from Dole. These are 20 fluid ounce. I make a really great barbecue chicken with pineapple and I might have to turn that into this with some barbecue for dinner one night. <laughs> we have bread. Martin's brand is our favorite. Ironically, it's not the same Martin's from the grocery store, it's a different Martin's. But we have two loaves, one pound, two ounce of the potato bread. Absolutely delicious. Again, not great for you, but delicious. And then we have 12 sliced slider potato rolls, 15 ounce. These are great for making burgers. I don't really like a really huge burger. I'm not a huge burger eater myself, but I know my family love them. So this is how I compromise. I make mini burgers, <laughs> then everybody's happy. I like my burgers really crunchy. I know, I'm a weirdo. I have butter, uh, butter lettuce, two heads, of living lettuce. Oh, how cool is that? It's like hydroponic. I love these. Butter lettuce, and then I have just some red leaf lettuce. I have organic celery. I have a package of yellow onion and a package of red onion. Red onion, I love to eat raw. These are both two pound. Three pound on the yellow, two pound on the red, I lied. Uh, we love to eat a lot of onion. Love to cook with the yellow and I love to eat the red onion raw. I have two bunches of Chiquita bananas. I love the organic bananas, but this was a substitute. There were no organic this time. 
Then I got some peaches and I had to laugh. I requested six of them. I got five and a nectarine. <laughs> so I don't know, apparently whoever picked my produce out, they didn't really know their fruits. So I have some peaches and a nectarine. And then I have some avocado. I really love avocado, especially on my potato bread or even just as a guacamole. I use, I use it for a lot of different things. I love it even just straight up raw with some hot pepper flakes. Oh my gosh, it's so good. That's how I actually put it on my bread. I mash it up with hot pepper, hot pepper flakes and then I put it on bread, toasted bread. All right, just coming around the final stretch here. I have English cucumbers. I prefer the English cucumber because I like to eat the skin. And when I get a traditional cucumber, I always have to peel the skin off because it's way too waxy and I don't really care to eat that. And last but not least, we have some red seedless grapes. So there we have it. That is my $215 Martin's grocery haul to hold us over while this winter storm passes through, I believe. We'll see, we have a little bit of snow already. It's a little skiff, but more is on the way. All right, everybody, happy homesteading. All right, I was going to end the video there, but then I thought, you know, I really should kind of explain why we do what we do. As I mentioned a little bit ago, I said that I only go to the grocery store like twice a month, less if possible. And you're probably like, how, how, how? I mean, $215 grocery hauls, that's not really gonna get you all that long. That's maybe like a week's worth for our family of four, two adults, two kids. So I think I probably should show you something else. This is real life right here. Here is my basement stairwell, everybody. <laughs> this is where I keep all of my produce. Not all of my produce. This is where I keep the things that will keep like this. I keep my basement cooler. So my basement stairwell is a great place to store apples, citrus, garlic, potatoes, even my onions. I keep those down here. That's where they're going to go. So this is just great storage for anything that's going to keep. And now we're in my basement. This is my pantry. I know not everybody has the space for this. I totally get that. But I also know that not a lot of people only go to town twice a month. So this is how we do it. We have to have a supply of food on hand. And anything that we can keep um, in bulk, essentially, that's what we do. Up here we have our cereal, Bisquick, any kind of breakfast stuff, syrups, maple syrup over there. Down here I have rice, quinoa, coffee, baked beans, any kind of bean, and all my soups. Down here I have my pastas, anything tomato based, taco stuff, mayo, miracle whip, condensed milk over there, tuna, mushrooms. We try to keep it pretty organized. It's kind of messy right now, but like I said, this is uh, real life. I didn't fix up anything to show you. I'm just literally coming down here and saying, hey, wait a minute. Uh, I know that doesn't look like a lot of food and we only go to town twice a month, so what are we eating all the rest of the time? Well, this is what we're eating. Over here we have some of our snacky stuff, chips, pretzels, junk food, applesauce. I have paper towels toilet paper, tissues, some canned foods. I see tea over there, apple juice. Down here is a lot of like condiments, vinegars, ketchup, mustard, my broth, spaghetti sauce, random boxes of mac and cheese. You can tell the kids have been down here. Sauerkraut. And then up here we have sugars, baking supplies, Nutella, peanut butter, jelly, applesauce, pie filling, baking stuff, syrups. And up here we have kind of our uh, kitchen supply area. We have laundry detergent, Comet, dishwasher stuff, baggies, Brillo pads, 
Um, this is citric acid. You're probably like, what is that? I got baking soda and we have citric acid. Sometimes I make my own dishwasher um, detergent. I use that. Paper plates, soap, solo cups. So that's how we do it. That's how we only go to town twice a month. And whenever I go, my orders are usually like $400 and up. Today was a very cheap day. <laughs> So now I have to go put all the groceries away, but I just wanted to give you a little taste of how we do it here on our homestead. Only going to town twice a month or less and how we store all of it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed.